Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard equation. We have 2 to the power x plus 1 equals negative 1 over x. And we're going to be solving for x values. Now, I'll be presenting the solution. We're going to find the solutions. And then we're going to check the results from Wolfram Alpha. And at the end, we're going to take a look at a graph. All right, let's get started. So let's start by cross multiplying and write this as x times 2 to the power x plus 1 equals negative 1. So my goal here is to use Lambert's w function, or you can just call it w, to solve this problem. I'm going to show you how that works real quick and find all the solutions. So be able to, to be able to use that, we need to put our expression in a certain form, such as t times e to the power t. When you Lambert or W this product, this gives you t. In other words, if you have a function f of t given as t times e to the t, then its inverse would be Lambert's W function. Make sense? Okay. So it takes basically this one as an input and spits out t as an output. So let's go ahead and see how we can put our expression in that format. We're not there yet because we don't have the e, but we're going to turn everything into that. Okay? So, first of all, 2 to the power x plus 1 can be broken down and written as 2 to the power x times 2. And then we can basically just put the 2 on the right hand side by division x times 2 to the x equals negative 1 half. We're not there yet, but we're pretty close. Look at this. If we had an e instead of the 2, this would work. So what can I do? I can basically use an identity because e to the exponential function and the natural log function are inverse functions. So I can basically replace the 2 with e to the power ln 2. Let's go ahead and substitute that here. x times e to the power ln 2 to the power x equals negative 1 half. And now this x will be multiplied by the other exponent, so it's going to be x times e to the power x ln 2 equals negative 1 half. So now one thing that I'm missing here is if we didn't have the ln 2 here, then it would be good. x times e to the x would work well. But we have an ln 2, but don't worry, it can be fixed very easily. Let's multiply both sides by ln 2. When you do that, you get x ln 2 times e to the power x ln 2, which is what we're trying to get. Notice that we said we want to put our expression in this form, t times e to the t. And we're going to get there. And t is going to be x ln 2 in this case. Okay. So I multiplied both sides by ln 2. So this is going to be negative 1 half times ln 2. So far so good. Now is a good time to Lambert both sides. You may want to work a little bit on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and finish that up. And then we'll Lambert both sides. How can I put negative 1 half ln 2 in the t e to the t form? Right? Well, I can do a little bit of uh, manipulation with uh, rules of logarithms. So let's take negative 1 half ln 2 and then write it as 1 half. So I'm going to go ahead and put this negative 1 as a power ln 2 to the power negative 1, which is 1 half of ln 1 half. Well, it looks like we didn't get the e, but we got ln. Since we have the inverse functions, we can go ahead and flip this around and basically write the 1 half as e to the power ln 1 half, and then multiply that by ln 1 half, and you're going to get what you want. So I'm going to write this first, ln 1 half times, and 1 half will be replaced with e to the power ln 1 half, and notice that our t to the t appears again. So this is basically the right-hand side, and it's equal to the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and rewrite it. x ln 2 times e to the power x ln 2 equals this, which is ln 1 half, times e to the power ln one half. This is when we w both sides. But let's go ahead and make a little bit more room here. So I'm going to move this a little bit so we can fit the w in there. And now we're going to go ahead and w both sides. w of this equals w of this. Now this rule always applies to functions. So if you have a equals b, then this always implies f of a equals f of b because that's how functions are defined or I guess it's called well-definedness. Anyways, 
So notice that this is our T, and when you input E, T, E to the T, you'll get a T. So this is going to become X ln 2, and this is going to become ln 1 half. Awesome, right? All you have to do is divide by ln 2, and you'll get the answer. Easy. So X equals ln 1 half divided by ln 2. But what is ln 1 half? Well, it is ln 2 to the power negative 1. So we can basically bring this up to the front. And then that's going to become negative 1 times ln 2. ln 2 cancels out. And we end up with negative 1, which is a legitimate solution. So x equals negative 1 is one of the solutions. And you can easily, easily verify that. But the million dollar question is, is that the only solution? And the answer is, let's find out. Okay. So remember, we kind of worked on the left-hand side but did not work on the right-hand side. Well, we kind of did, and we got to this point. So I'm going to pick it up from here. x ln 2. Maybe I will uh, start here. How about this? I'm going to go ahead and use this. x ln 2 times e to the power x ln 2 equals, let's see what that says, negative 1 half ln 2. Now, so the left-hand side is easy, but let's manipulate the right-hand side a little differently. And a lot of times we use these tricks, multiply and divide by the same number, or add and subtract the same number, so on and so forth. This time, I want to multiply this by one-half to make this one-fourth. You'll see in a little bit why that works. And then, of course, that's going to bring in an extra two, because one-half times two, notice that this is one. So essentially, I'm not multiplying by anything but one. And now... This 2 ln 2 and these 2 will be grouped together. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be negative 1 fourth. And this is going to be ln 2 squared, which is ln 4. You see what I'm talking about? Hopefully you do. And now we can put it into the t to the t format again. But this time with the 4s. So negative 1 fourth, we, we can do the following. 1 fourth times ln 4 to the power of negative 1, which is 1 fourth times ln 1 over 4, and it's all good after the e to the ln thing, right? So let's go ahead and now write this as x ln 2, e to the x ln 2. And now this time, I'm going to start with this. ln 1 fourth is going to go first times, I'm going to replace 1 fourth with e to the power ln 1 fourth, right? And now I got another t, e to the t. So we can w both sides one more time. But let's go ahead and make room. Again, I always forget to make room for this. Let's go ahead and move this a little bit, like this maybe. And then we're going to go ahead and W both sides and then see what happens. The left-hand side, again, is going to give me X ln 2. And the right-hand side, this time, is going to give me ln 1 fourth. Remember, last time it gave me something else, right? It gave me negative 1 half ln 2. Anyways, I guess we could directly go there. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think I... Okay, here, here what I could have done. I could just move this to the, here and that would be just ln 1 fourth, wouldn't it? Okay, but where is the other 1 fourth, right? That's what I needed. Anyways, I did something and it worked. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. Divide both sides by ln 2 again. And of course, this is a different solution, right? Isn't it? ln 1 fourth is ln 2 to the power negative 2. And yes, this will give me another solution, which is an integer, again, which makes it kind of easier to find. So we didn't have to use a calculator. You see, sometimes you get nice values, and x equals negative 2 will be another solution. What was the first solution? x equals negative 1. So the solution set is negative 1 and negative 2. And here's some results from Wolfram Alpha in the form of Lambert's W function. It looks a little confusing, but they're basically talking about the same thing. And then integer solutions are these. Are there complex solutions? Who knows? Something to think about. And this is the graph. So 2 to the x plus 1 is exponential. Negative 1 over x is a hyperbola. And they intersect at two points, x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.